Hello hey guys, I'm Dinx, and this is continuation for Let's Play of the Colony Ship, and uh, why don't we talk to this guy, Jake, he's just standing there. One of the riflemen is running diagnostic on the, on the strange apparatus sitting in the middle of the fortress. What's that? Uh, the launcher. Uh, all you gotta do is load a shuttle, he gestures at the ceiling mounted crane, and the launcher will do the rest. I'm surprised it's still working. She was deader than the founder's dreams when we came here. Stripped for parts like everything else. Took me a better part of the year to fix it. Why did you fix it? Don't we owe to to those who come after us to leave behind something that works, I mean? We can't fix all the damage, but there are plenty of things we can fix. See, lots of folks are thinking big and making all these grand plans. But it's the little things that count. How long have you been with the rifleman? Long enough to remember what life was like before we came here. Then, uh, when you're when you're out there, you take any job that come your way, and when nobody's hiring, well, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. And it ain't always pretty, if you know what I mean. Okay. I wonder the just how, where do they get? food and stuff. I guess end tabs are provided to the people in Cargo Bay as well, right? There are probably some sort of dispensers somewhere. I guess. Um, what do you think about the situation with the refugees? Does it look like I have enough space? We have enough space? They should go where they came from. What do you think about Moses? Good man. Okay. Let's just show me what you got. Okay, grenades and all of that. I don't think we need need that. No that. Because we we have that war club now. Uh, let's leave this. I don't think I need anything else. Just the grenades mostly. Ooh, can I steal that? I oh, yes I can. I can still oh I can steal that as well. Nice. Okay, some 45 ammo, not bad. One aggro stem. Six med kit, med kits, not bad. Uh, what do you have, dear medic? What do you think about refugees? Uh, prospectors, stay in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, you just got stems. Okay, it's fine. What can? Oh, who's that? Just a man. Dry cling, fumigation. Alteration, we do it all, says the proprietor. These pants look like they've never seen an inside of a washing machine. Want me to give them a quick wash? I can throw in a free softener for you. What do you think about the situation with refugees? They'd better be gone by the time the prospectors show up. What do you think about Moses? He's way too soft, if you ask me. This whole thing is his fault. If Had he kicked them out the moment they showed up, we... Wouldn't have to worry about the prospectors. Uh, what can the man tell us? A man leaning back on the couch, back in front of the, his shuttle, enjoying the view and a toxic looking drink. Algebeer, he says, make, mistaking you look for genuine interest. I sure as hell ain't eating this shit, but if you brew it, brew try it, it's, uh, it's not half bad. Better than the poison they serve upstairs. 
What do you make of the situation? Thou shalt, shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him. For ye were strangers in the land of Egypt, recites the man raising a finger. What's Egypt? Didn't I just say it's land? Pay attention if you if you want to learn something here. Father Nika says we should let them in and stand together against the prote uh, protectors. I don't see any flaws in that reasoning, do you? What about the protectors? You think they're dumb enough to attack us? Ha! <laughs> see these containers? They are lined up with a with a heat absorber on the side on the inside. Nothing will get through them. Okay. Whatever you say, buddy, but I'm pretty sure something will be able to get through them. Who's Buck? A disheveled looking fellow steps out of one of the shuttles, glancing around with a sore grimace. The air filters out again. Everything tastes like metal. Are you one of them? He nods towards the nearby camp. Just passing through. He nods again indifferently and busies himself rolling some kind of cigarette. What do you make of the situation? Been, we've been warring with protectors over the fate of some refugees and living in peace. Only a fool would choose to fight. Oh, between. Right, okay. As if to illustrate his words, the shuttle doors hiss is open and half-dressed woman with a small child slung across her chest yells something in his direction. So that's your home? Point, point at a shuttle. Yep, nods the man. Didn't come cheap, mind you. Traded everything I had for it. But it was worth every credit. Life support system's out, so I had to drill a few holes to allow air to circulate. But everything else is still in good shape. Are any of the shuttles still in working condition? Huh, <laughs> if only. You'd get so many credits, they wouldn't all fit in one drive. The pilot's chair alone mine is all worn out and doesn't recline all the way what if ship arrives at proxima tomorrow how would we get to the surface but don't tell me you still believe in that old shit he laughs at your foolishness there is no proxima never was that was just a carrot they invented to uh, to get our ancestor on board who is they the fucking earthlings <laughs> who else the ship is their solution to over for overpopulation. Well, it's not a very good solution, like sending up 50,000 pe people at a time on like a ship. That's probably very, very expensive. Load the undesirables on the, on a fleet of cargo hulks and dump them into deep space like garbage. Okay then. Let's talk to Moses. What the hell is it now? Mo Jackson breathed out the words in a deathly tired sigh. Never mind the answer. The answer is no. Father, Father Niku sent me. I liked him better when he was plain old Nicky Bolton. He was rarely sober back then, but at least he was tolerable. He asked me to talk to, Bo to you about refugees. A little late in, that, in the day for the... Pal palaver? What's a palaver? I don't know. The prospectors will be here in force in less than 24 hours. I'll kill anyone who resists and conscript the rest. Our options are to go down with the refugees or drive them out by force if we have to and save everyone's lives in the process. What's the pr prospector's angle? The Brotherhood's got themselves a foothold in the factory. The prospectors have had a bad uh, carving for their own base outside the habitat. And the shuttle bay is the juiciest fruit in, in reach. And of course, if they don't get them, get their mitts on, on it, the Brotherhood or the church will. But they could have taken shuttle bay years ago. They could have, but the other factions would have uh, painted them as a villain for it. They needed a pretext to take over, and now they have it. As soon as you get the numbers, you are a threat. Then every one of the of the habitat. Crown crowned dic dictator is gonna take an interest. Listen, if you want to help, convince the re refugees to go back where they came from. Hell, why don't you take them? Not like the pit is running out of space. Hmm. This isn't as nearly as hopeless as you make out. You've got a nice defensive position here. 
and the protectors have their have other forts they need to watch. They won't commit their full force just to take out some homeless folks and and down at a heal priest. And what do we do after that? Am I supposed to become a warlord like Braxton? I want this place to stay small. Jonas let the pit grow wild and look what happened. Big settlements have big problems and my plate is pretty fucking full as it is. I'll talk to the refugees. Who leads them? Nazar, he used to be one of Dumont's lieutenants. And Mother Mary, a religious firebrand from the habitat. Jay can tell you more. He points at a big, bold man waiting a few steps away. Before I forget, Jonas is proposing an alliance between the pit and the rifleman. Mo shakes his head. Jonas dug himself a pit and now he wants me to climb down into it with him? No, tell him we take no sides. He's on his own this time. Even if I help you, your answer is still no. So it'd help us avoid confrontation with prospectors. Only to force us into a bigger fight with the Brotherhood? Out of the fire, into the fry of the frying pan and onto the fire, huh? Hmm, so I guess we're gonna need to, like... Change the leadership here, huh? Can I go up? I can go around here. It doesn't seem there's much going on here. Yeah, I cannot go down up there. Nor... Oh, I can go down, but I cannot go up. Okay. Well, it's not like there's much there, really. Well, let's talk to Jay. And see what we can see. What do you make of this situation? Asks Jay. Being an outsider, you might see it differently, he adds. Strength's always been on numbers. If you band together, we can stand against the protectors and anyone else who comes knocking. Well, it, it makes sense. Like, they, if they get out of refugees now, okay, maybe pr pr protectors will like back back out, right back down, and not attack. But at the same time, at some point they will, somebody will come back. Like it's a juicy territory. They, they're just claiming that they are a threat because it happened once, it will happen again. Is good enough of a casus belly to me, I think. Strength's always been in numbers. If you band together, you can stand against the protectors and anyone else who comes knocking. Why you should say that? Father Nico and I think the same thing, but Moldus, he just doesn't see it that way. Then maybe riflemen need a new leader. Well, I reckon I followed Moses long enough. It's time for me to take over. Jay straightens up and glances around, trying his new role as a like a dress. How are you planning to do that? Father Nico said he he has it all figured out. Okay, I'll go talk to him. What are you going to do? Hmm. I think Father Nico is more suited to lead the riflemen. Is that wise? asks Faith. If the refugee stays, the protectors will attack. I hope it won't come to that. And if it does... Then we fight, together. <laughs> That's way too, too heroic for my character, I think. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. If it happens next, it's on you. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Hmm, like this, these doors, it looks like it's like down below a little bit. Like I maybe come, can get through one of those doors or something at some point. From somewhere, somehow, maybe. Like it's like, looks like one of those doors. Okay then, Nico. Moses wants the refugees gone, so he's just gonna turn his back on them, says Father Nico. Shaking his head. Mm. Should we just go for the coup? 
Yeah, let's go for it. Moldus refuses to see the light of reason. I think your flo flock needs another shepherd. It appears so, the priest nods gravely. We don't have much time, so let's do what needs to be done. And do it quickly. This transition of power, it can't happen here, you understand? I will bring Moldus to Mother Mary and she will do the rest. Can we count on you, brother? I will talk to her. Okay then. Well, Nico promised us the, the alliance for for Jonas, right? Mother's Spring, Moldus sent me. He'll make an exception for you. How is my stealing, by the way? Stealing, stealing, stealing. Only at 4. Because hmm. there were quite a few opportunities to steal at level 5 in the Brotherhood. Guess you think we're gonna leave just because of a uh, little trouble, the woman says. Her lip twisting in a s into a sneer. Well, we, we ain't. So you can fuck the right off. Quite a w welcome your... Quite a welcome your little camp puts on. You think you deserve better? All right, boy. What's your message? Let's hear it. Here's a riddle for you. Moses wants you gone, but Father Nico would gladly let you stay. Too bad he doesn't call the shots, huh? Now that's a surprise. You hear that, boys? We have a riddle to solve, and I see but one way to solve it. She aims this comment at her entourage. A regular crew of rock-looking men. Bugs and cu cutthroats, by the look of them. Are, are these the refugees I kept hearing about? These are the men that keep them safe, Mother corrects you. Not that it's any of your damn business. So what's your story? Same as yours, I'm guessing. Didn't like the place I was born at, so I left. End up here. Okay, let's see what transpires. An hour later, Moses Jackson walks in, f in followed by Jay, Father, uh, Father Nico, and two guards. What's it you wanted to talk about to me about? You know, Mother Moses, fixing him with a curious squint. I've been debating m with myself whether we should go through with it. I never take into take into any crooked business. But then you waltz in here, blind as a fucking bat, oblivious to the fact that this two. She points at Father Nico and Jay. Want you dead? Should a man like you be in charge of anything? I think not. She gestures her goons forward. Wait it out. With Father Nico and Jay at his back, Mother's stalks like there are four dead people or something. Mother stalks in front. Moses and two of his bodyguards go down as quick and easy as a working man to his hard-earned slumber. Before Jay can so much as sigh and shake his head at their foolishness, he joins them, sliding off Father Nico's blade into a heap of the old man's feet. Oh, Father Nico, like, utterly brutal man. <laughs> like, he even go went for Jake, even though, like... Uh, oh. He'd only get in the way, Father Nico says. In a philosophical tone as he wipes the blades. I mean, that's a smart move, I guess, but <laughs> didn't expect that. Staring pointedly at Mother. Now, there won't be any confusion about who's in charge. None whatsoever, she replies with a shrug. What are we planning to do now? Civis Passum Parabellum. Sides Father Nico. If you want peace, prepare for, vo prepare for war. The protectors will be here soon, so let's give him a warm welcome. Talk to Nazar. Welcome him to and his crew into the family. Uh, I, unfortunately, the bodies are not here. Would have loved to, like, loot the bodies here. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming Nazar is somewhere, like, on this side, huh? Probably this guard. Just, like... Op will open me door to Nazar. Moses departed the mortal wall. Jake collapsed into a heap on the floor. 
guard, guard one day. Home in the box, guard isn't with us anymore. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's save. Let's talk to the guard. Nico sent me. Better be good. Okay. Nazar stands perfectly still, waits as, waiting as if he'd been installed there before the ship left Earth from orbit. His military bearing betrays a career begun in the habitat. The rest you already know. A uh, stint with Demon, which uh, he left to end up here. But will this be a new beginning or the last stand? What does Moses want now? Moses is dead, but Father Nico will be wel will welcome you with open arms. Welcome us to live as we choose, or as conscript in Jackson's rifleman. Or I suppose it might, might be Nico's rifleman now. Moses wanted you gone, but Father Nico willing to take you all in, if you join the rifleman. Yeah, I think that's the best deal you're gonna, going to get. I've been following orders my whole life. I'm done fighting for other uh, other men's wars. Too bad the protectors don't give a shit. Um, maybe it's strange. If you have any other marketable skills? No, let's go with persuasion to get it to level 7, maybe. Too bad the protectors don't give a shit. Uh, like it or not, you'll have to fight them to protect your people. Might as well join the riflement and fight together. Those people came to me for help. Doesn't mean they're mine to command. I'm not like Nico or the protectors for that matter. That's exactly what it means. Most people would rather fall than lead. Because it's not an easy job. If you don't want it, just say just say so. Otherwise... Okay, persuasion got to level 7. Nice, nice, nice. Impersonate is almost at level 4, which is nice as well. Fine. Tell father, Nico, we have a deal. So, yeah, these guys are quite far away from leveling up, unfortunately. The question is, do I want to put him, put an intelligence implant into him, in Evans? Might not be a bad idea. Like spinal, he doesn't need spinal. He might might want to give him a heart or something. Like this to, I don't know, armor. I'm not like positive about usefulness of armor really. Like I, I'll, I'll give him a neural link, and we'll see if it will give him additional uh, tagged skill. We'll probably put it into evasion or something. Which would probably be most useful. Yeah. So it'll be harder to hit. And yeah, that will be that. Why don't we try that? Shall we? I mean if he if he even wants to get neural link. Stalin plants, Evans. Oh, he he will only accept subdermal armor or synthetic heart. I see. Oof. Faith, I don't think he she doesn't have any. And myself. Can I upgrade my, myself somehow? What? How can you, like, up overclock them i think pretty sure it was mentioned that you can overclock them with uh, somehow not sure how like the doctor in the first in the pit was mentioning something about overclocking okay i guess we're ready as we're going to be right i wonder if i can talk to them oh yeah i can Nazar accepted your offer. 
I'm, I'm your servant, Lord, whispers Nico, grasping your hand. I will not flatter. Anything I can do to help? In due time, brother, in due time. Well, let's wait for the protectors. The protectors force arrive a few hours later. 200 soldiers tugging in uh, Trojan uh, and set up camp, waiting for the riflemen to send someone to parlay. Go see what they want. Why me? If I go, they will kill me on sight. I'm not ready to be martyred just yet. <laughs> well, if if they mar kill you on sight, that's uh, well, you'll be remembered, you know. So where? Are... Oh, there they are. Yeah, quite a few of them. Well, Mr. Protector, sir, what do you want? Like rats from a sinking ship, says one of the guards to another. I'm here to parlay. Of course you are, smiles the guard. The captain's in the depot down the hall. Can't miss it. Rowley. Captain Rowley is waiting for you in one of the makeshift depots, recently converted into a makeshift command center. Where's Mo Jackson? He asks, obviously. None pulse, he's dead. Father Nico is in charge now. So that's why our warning went unheeded, says Captain. I'm requiring I'm required to offer them a chance to surrender before we cleanse this entire bay from the infestation. So I'll give you twenty minutes to deliver the message and get out. Why should Mother Church care about your warnings? What does the church have to do with it, any of it. Captain snaps irritably, then stops abruptly when it hits him. Had the church made a deal with the rifleman? We'd known about that. Hmm. Only God is all-seeing and all-knowing, Captain. Do you claim divine parentage? Why am I talking to you then and not the church emissaries why aren't you the church why aren't there church burners flying above shuttle bay i'm tired of these questions if you want to start a war with the church go ahead i'm sure your superiors will understand oh and impersonate level to four nice very well captain says reluctantly we'll withdraw for now he has trying to save his face Cool. Okay, we, ha we get like some 150 XP for that or something, right? Maybe, I don't know. The protectors are gone. Gone? asks Father Nico. Sounds almost disappointed. I told them that you made the church with a uh, deal with the church. Not a bad idea, Father Nico says thoughtfully. You're heading to the habitat anyway, aren't you? Talk to the church, see if they are interested. I'll see what I can do. Uh, but about the... Uh, what about the... Uh, rifle, this one. What about the alliance? By the way, what does hard do exactly? Plus one HP regen, toxic resistance 30, and stat resistance, right? Oh, it's it's damaged, this one. Oh, but only one H 13 HP or less stat healing plus one. Not just right away, huh? Should I just put dermal armor in him to give him a little bit more protection? I mean, why not? Maybe it'll get better. <laughs> At some point, I don't know. If we'll upgrade it. Install implants, Evans. Subdermal armor. There you go, buddy. So. 
so now he has a little bit better armor. I mean, every little bit helps, right? Let's go back to the habitat, shall we? I wonder if I should visit the protectors first. And see what they have to, t to tell me. And then I might want to talk to Reaper and Abraham here. Yeah, we also need to find that information about that machine. Doesn't look like anybody in the... Uh, well, at least that Ar Archivarius didn't, that didn't know anything about that machine in the Brotherhood. Uh, well, let's travel to the Protector, shall we? And actually, I will make a cut here and we'll continue in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And goodbye.